Pisces. Who are we dealing with for February 14th? Let's see who we're dealing with. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, someone feeling being left out in the cold. All right. Someone feeling left out in the cold. Valentine's Day for Pisces. All right, so we have the King of Wands in reverse. Actually, in the upright position, my apologies. You have Aries, Leo, Sag. Someone wants to be sexual and passionate with you, Pisces. Or you might be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Sun, Rising, and Venus sexually. You have the Knight of Cups, okay? This is a young Pisces card. It could be a Cancer and a Scorpio, but normally the Knight is a Pisces. Who is Pisces dealing with sexually? All right, this is too many cards, so let's see. We do have the uh, Three of Pentacles, okay? So it's a coming together. Someone wants to have the party or reunion with you. Let's see. We do have the Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Wow. This is all Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> Look at this. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, okay? So the King is definitely, the Queen of Cups is a uh, uh, Cancer. Let's see. Oh, child. The world. Okay. You have the King of Cups, another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and you have the Ace of Wands, all right? So you have Aries, Leo, Sag, all right? So you do have the world here, the Four of Pentacles, someone don't want to share their love. You have cut off communication, someone feeling stabbed in the back. You have Patience with Temperance, Sagittarius, and you have the Nine of Cups, someone having many options, all right? So... Someone had too many options, but they want to come in with a cup of love because the King of Cups is basically someone who is very stable, honest in a relationship. So you have a Knight of Cups, someone wants to turn into a king, all right? So someone wants to come out of that player energy and come in and be finally be serious with you on Valentine's Day. Someone wants to offer you commitment, all right? So let's see. Let's verify these, this uh, reading here. Spirit, what do we have for Pisces? Someone like the Venus Spirit. What do we have for our lovely Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Pisces. Spirit, what do we have for Pisces? You have so much water. Someone is in love with you, Pisces, for Valentine's Day. You have a lot of emotional... Um, someone is really in love. Someone just can't stop thinking about you. Someone is overly in love because it's so much water. Water is about passion and love and just love, love, love. And then you have a king of wands and an ace of wands. This is like, listen, someone wants to be passionate with you. Someone wants to be stable. Someone wants to come forward and say, listen, I want to be with you. That's it. Why is the ace of wands here for Pisces spirit? Who's the ace of wands? Why is the ace of wands for Valentine's Day for uh, Pisces spirit? Who's coming towards us passionately with the ace of wands? Who's the ace of wands for Pisces? Some, ooh, this one wanted to jump out. Let's get it. So we do have the nine of swords, okay? So someone wants to come in and give you, like, something very strong. <laughs> I'm going to dig the great, gray, gray, um, what is it? Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey type of love, all right? <laughs> For real. Fifty Shades of Grey, honey. All right, Pisces, do your damn thing. All right, so let's, we're going to clarify, too, what's going on with these people. It's a lot of people here. Let's see if this is a um, committed relationship. Because you got a two knights, you got three men and a woman. Why is the king of wands here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sexually? Who's the... Hold on. All right, so you have the three of swords. You have the queen of wands. Wow. Okay, so another wand. The four wands. And the Ten of Wands. Wow. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Tell me this is not passion. This is all wands. All wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. So you got to be dealing with the Pis Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Aries, Leo, Sag. Or someone is a water sign who wants to give you this passionate love. Someone wants to come in and, and give you all of this. Oh, guys, someone wants to take you out in the woods. Someone wants to swing on the swing. Someone is just intoxicated over love, overly in love with you. And someone wants to get it in on Valentine's Day, Pisces. 
So it looks legit so far. So um, you do have the three of swords. Now in the regular deck, it's the heartbreak thing or whatever. So someone might be heartbroken or heart shrunken. All right. So we're going to, as we go towards February 14th, we're going to clarify like, you know, someone stepping out on us. But so far, this looks like love. This looks like passionate love with maybe one person or two. I don't know. Let's see. The Knight of Cups. Wow. Okay. The Magician. You had the Magician in the prior reading, so go to the other video that I posted today. So you do have the Magician. You have a young Pisces who wants to manifest you back into their life. Why is the Queen of Cups here for Pisces? We know that's the Pisces card, okay? That's the Queen. So why is the Queen of Cups here for um, Pisces spirit? Uh-uh. All right. So I think we got this card here that came out first. You have the hair upon marriage. Ciao. Okay. So we got the uh, fool, the pentacles, six of pentacles, equal give or take. You have the four of chalices, which is uh, four of cups, someone feeling rejected, or you might reject their cup of love. And the seven of wands. Ooh, the seven of wands is beautiful, Pisces. Okay. So that's beautiful. All right. So we might be in a marriage, Pisces, and we have options, or we might be in a committed relationship and having many options with other people for Valentine's Day. You might have a lot of people to choose from. You have a lot of people to choose from that you could be with. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Let's verify again. Who's the Queen of Cups spirit for Pisces? All right. You do have the Knight of Swords. Ooh, child. Okay, 50 shades of gray here. Someone wants to rip you. Someone wants to get it in. All right. So the Knight of uh, Swords is someone who's a player. So you might have to be careful with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. If you are a male, Cancer, you have to be careful of a female Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right. Why is the King of uh, the King of Cups here for Pisces spirit? Oh, child, we have one card. It's over. Uh uh, we don't want that there. Okay. Why is the King of Cups here for Pisces? The Fool, okay? So it's saying uh, take a leap of faith with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio because they might be the, mo the most stable one. If they're older than you, go with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. All right? So you do have the Empress. So someone wants to have a baby with you or someone wants to get pregnant, child. And you do have the High Priestess. Here we are, Pisces. Hey. And we have the Devil card in between us. So, this could be someone who's trying to tame you and get you pregnant, Pisces, to keep you. Someone is thinking about trying to um, get you pregnant on Valentine's Day, child. So, let's figure out who these people are with the original deck here. We got a lot of people. We're going to figure out first who this Knight of Wands is. All right. So, Spirit, why do we have the King of Wands for Pisces? Who's the King of Wands for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who's the King of Wands for Pisces? The Hermit. All right. So this is a um, Virgo energy here. Someone wants to give you all this passion and energy, or you might be feeling. Wait a minute. Who's the King of Wands for Pisces here for Valentine's Day? All right, so you have the Ace of Swords, all right? So you're going to be thinking about a relationship and not feeling comfortable if you should take the leap of faith with this uh, fire sign or Virgo, okay? Who's the Queen of Cups for Pisces? All right, so we got too many cards. Who's the Queen of Cups for Pisces, Spirit? Who's the Queen of Cups? Who's the Queen of Cups for Pisces, Spirit? Who's the Queen of Cups for Pisces? All right, so the Queen of Cups is the Nine of Pentacles, all right? So that's just Pisces. That's just us hanging in our solo, solo mojo energy. Like, we trying to focus on money, let the love come in. So who's the Knight of Cups for Pisces spirit? And you got the 11 on Leva card. So it's a young Pisces who feel like you might be their wish fulfillment. Someone might want to propose marriage to you. Someone is in love with you, Pisces. Chow. Okay, so I didn't get a chance. And it might be some sneaky behavior because the devil showed up in the Five of Cups. Someone might be using, like, intimacy to win your heart. Let's figure out who this knight of 
this king of cups because this is what spirit is telling us to do we'll take the leap with the king of cups why is the king of cups here for pisces for valentine's day who's the king of cups for pisces spirit for valentine's day uh-uh chat uh-uh y'all let me flip this let me let me shuffle this shit up again spirit why is the king of cups here for pisces sun moon rising to venus Who's the king of cups for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Who's the king of cups for Pisces? Whoa, okay. The eight of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, so someone is going to walk away and then trying to return. Someone wants a new beginning. Why is the eight of cups for Pisces, spirit? All right, so you have the king of cups. Yep. I told you this in the other reading. So it's saying to have patience. This is Sagittarius card. You do have juggling. So someone is no longer wants to juggle. Someone wants to come in and offer you a stable relationship. But you have an option to be with a uh, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You also have an option to be with a knight, which is uh, a pentacle, an earth, a young earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And you also have a king of cups. So it's a lot of men here, child. So um, you have an option to be with a Libra, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and a knight to Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. All right, but it's all in reverse. So you have eight cups here. So you do have a lot of people to choose from on Valentine's Day to be with. All right, so this is your reading, Pisces, and namaste.